whole generation, you are totally instilling hope within me. I mean, you're so positive, so clear. I mean, everyone hates you guys, you know? But like, I'm, I'm hearing the truth in, in, your, in your stuff here. Like, it's coming out like, Andrea? Yeah, I'm a general. Oh, I wondered what you were, because you said 36, and that's not too much younger than me, so. And I know I'm an Xer, so. I didn't know where you lied. Where did you lie? Where did where are you lying? This is gonna turn into a therapy session. <laughs> Andrea, where are you lying to yourself? No, but seriously, that first song you like totally pumped me up, just like Eminem like pumps me up for like for like a marathon or something. You know, yeah, it does. It's super yeah, I love your message. I love the permission you gave everyone to like own your totally own that. Own your anger. I love that. That's truth, sister. Yeah, and then you like opened up to us in that second song. You're like vulnerable and she was flirty too, just a little fun. <laughs> she let us know what, how we can dab her up. It's good to know, I was paying attention. And then that last song, it was like so mellow. I feel like she like tucked me into bed and like kissed me on the forehead and I was like, I don't know, I haven't gone yet. <laughs> so if this is disjointed, it's her fault. And then Angelo, wow, wow, brother. The energy is so beautiful. Yeah, and like your lyrics, like the ones I could understand, dude, I heard the positivity. Like I heard light, like that is, I'm super impressed. And the only thing I, I kind of couldn't make out, it was one of those sing-along um, verses, was it that you stay at home or you're a space hoe? Oh, oh yeah. The first one, the one you like love, yeah. I'm like, I don't know what he's, does he stay at home? Is he in space, ho? Cause you know, like, I don't know, aliens, that's a thing. It's like I'm out in space, ho. I mean, am I right? Is that what the lyric was? Out in space, I'm out in space, ho, no oh. control plane. Oh, I am out in space, okay. No, thank you, I am getting older, I need to know. Like, <laughs> is it me, is it you, you know? But I mean, do those work too? Like, if you want to sing along, cause it's for you to sing along, so that's- It's almost like interpretive. Yeah. Okay. Seriously, I feel like I just learned something. For you, so like if you're bumping in your car, it's however you want it. You, want to do you just want us to be bumping you in your our car, huh? You like <laughs> no, I'm serious. So SoundCloud, SoundCloud, Bandcamp. Where else can we find you? Um, this is turning into an Angelo Flores plug. Yeah, no, brother. Believe me, I'm not. I haven't even started on mine yet. <laughs> believe me, I'm all about the shameless plugs. So yeah, I mean, this is what happens when you get to the Phoenix Clubhouse late. You're up last, and there's seven people in the audience. But um, yeah, I was I got pulled over on the way here. True story. True story. I was looking. I turned down the wrong road, and I hesitated too long. And they're like, "This bitch is drunk," <laughs> or high, likely high. And they pulled up to me, you know, and I'm like, I don't even know if this was Talent PD I spoke to. I don't know. Does Phoenix have its own police department? Yeah, I don't know if I was talking to a Phoenix Police Department officer. I have no idea. Meanwhile, he shows up like, ma'am, you're being recorded right now. And I'm like, that feels wrong. Like, why do you get to have a memento of our time together? And I don't even know who the fuck you are, officer. I don't even know his name. But I got out of it. I got out of the ticket, and I'd like to tell you how I got out of that ticket. Celiacs, thank you, celiacs. Never have I been so grateful for a disease that plagues so many, so many. It's okay, I'm gonna change their life, I promise. I'll get into it. But yeah, I got out of it. I happened to mention, you know, he's like, you know, your registration tags, it expi yeah, it's expired, that's why I pulled you over. Are you aware of that? And I was like, actually, I am. I was aware that I didn't have enough money to pay that, uh-huh. Totally aware. Um, it's not that I budget badly, it's just that I don't have money. I started a business, so I, that's how I kind of had to give a little backstory. I'm like, I started this business, you know, I'm like, I'm eight weeks in, and like all my money's going to my business. Shameless plug, glad you came back. Um, and so he's like, oh, and you just sort of overlooked it, and I'm like, well, overlooked it. Had to buy food for the cafe, you know, priorities. He's like, well, where's this cafe? I said, well, it's right 
down the road on Talent Avenue, sir, 109. 109 Talent Avenue. Yes, bakery. I'm uh, like, I sell gluten-free, vegan, 100% organic breakfast. You can find me 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Saturday. And you will find me. I will take your order. I will make your change. I will make your coffee. I will clean your dish up. Oh, and I'll cook your food in the meeting between all that. Not in that order. Um, and he's like, my girlfriend has celiacs. You know what? You just, you take care of that as soon as you can. You know, and I was like, thank you, sir. Thank you. So that was cool, right? Yeah. I was like, go police department. <laughs> I know, I mean, there's so much negative stuff about him. I just gotta spread some positivity if I can. Ooh, see? You guys inspired me. Yeah. Um, so has anything cool happened to anyone else? Anything? Yeah. Yeah, to share. Please okay. share. So I was in Portland, and I was supposed to meet up with a buddy, so I just kind of showed up like, in the area. He's in Portland going to meet with a friend. Yeah. Ooh, like, he's I trying the law of attraction. I don't know, I feel like it works. So I'm like, I have a warm anticipation tonight. And so I didn't know. And so I'm walking down the street maybe like a few minutes. I start thinking about it. And I'm like, in the moment. And I'm like, hi, you know, the people. Just trusting, yeah. just surrendering exactly in the moment. What it is. It's just, exactly. it is, but it's going to happen. Eternity knows you need to sleep tonight, yeah, right? Exactly. So she knows you're not accustomed to the cold concrete. Yeah. Okay. And Yeah. Start interacting. Yeah. And um, he's like, "How are you?" I'm like, "I'm grateful," you know. And he just starts talking about this thing, and he's like, "Oh, are you traveling?" You know, carrying my backpack. And the next thing I know, like we're chilling for just this, like few minutes, and he's like, "You need a place to stay tonight?" And I just met him. <laughs> he's like, "He's like, you can come crash on my crib." And so you know what I mean. And so I'm show we show up there, whatever. We're kicking it on the couch. So I'm about to pass out, and he's like, "Bro, you can just go sleep in my bed upstairs." Like, go ahead, have it. Like, I just met him. He's like, I, I gotta admit, it's getting a little weird, Angelo. Like it's getting a little, it's getting a little weird. Where's this going? That's what, that's, what the, that's what the universe is. God is very weird. He does a lot of weird shit sometimes, but just stuff happens. That's really cool. Right, but when you woke up, nothing had been inserted inside of you, is what you're saying. When you got in the man's bed. That's not an answer to that question. Yeah, that isn't an answer. Hey, good job. I like this. That's a blocky. We're a team. Oh, so he cleared your blockages? No, that's a blockage. Oh. That mindset. Oh, or I'm poking fun. I'm poking fun. And like the way a proctologist would poke fun. Not a lesson. All right, all right. I forget that you're doing comedy, so I'm like, no, I'm serious. Yeah, no, it's okay. We can have this. We can have this. It's a good test to how funny I could be. Yeah. Is it working? I can't tell. Everyone else is laughing. All right. All right. Well, I'm glad that anyone else, would anyone else like to share something cool? I was in Alaska. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You went to see Grandma. Yeah. How is she? Oh, she's good. She's 83. Um, wow. She still remembers most things. That's and, good. Um, yeah, she, uh, she, I have celiac, too. And Grandma God <laughs> bless you. I have the bagel for you oh, and the God. waffle. I'm coming to see you. Oh. Um, Yeah, it's so hard for them. It's so hard for them. Yeah. That is. Nobody in Alaska has celiac. Yeah. Well, or they don't realize when they're 300 pounds that they're malnourished. Yeah. Yeah. Alaska's wild. So like they're literally. Yeah. Yeah, that looks that looks Whoa. big. Yeah. That looks like we charge it. <laughs> she was gesturing to how big it was. For those who aren't here and won't see it in its glory. This is cool. Thank you guys. Thanks for being so interactive. You're awesome. I had lines written in case there were crickets. So I also would like to join the positivity. Like things are awesome for me too. And um, so I started this business actually at the farmer's market. So I was, I was just doing like my gluten free, yes bakery. yes bakery. Oh yes bakery. Oh yes. At a, oh yes, on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, and Instagram. Um, and so yeah, so I started the farmer's market just with like 
donuts and muffins and sweet treats, right? And then I had this opportunity about eight weeks ago to step into a cafe and, and open it for breakfast. So like that's what I've been doing and it's going really well. You know, I'm expanding, I'm hiring people to work with me. That's exciting. Um, on my way here tonight, I was slow driving and hesitating because I was checking Instagram. It was at a stop sign, it's okay. It's at a stop sign. Actually, it's not true. Um, I just drove for dramatic. My phone stopped working. But anyway, but I got tagged in a post by Northwest Raw. Do you guys know who these people are? What? What? Okay, well, it's kind of like the coolest place to be in Ashland. If you're like vegan and gluten free. If you're, oh, if you're a glutard. Yeah. If you're a glutard, it's the place to be. And, um,. Yeah, so they asked me to make them a seed bread, and they're like, they're gonna un unveil it this, this Saturday, and so they tagged me in a post, so I was like, yes! It's my own little bit of Southern Oregon celebrity. Um, celebrity. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, but like now that I'm kind of gaining popularity, I'm, I'm rising in, uh, in the ranks. People are gonna know me. I'm at like 200 likes. What? I think they just gave me 201. Thank you, thank you. Invite a friend to do it too. Um, but my biggest fear is that like, I'm gonna get interviewed you know, by, I don't know, the Tribune, um, the Daily Planet, whatever the, the newspaper is here. Um, and I'm afraid they're gonna be like, so Victoria, how long have you been vegan? You know, because vegans are like militant. You know, they're like hardcore. And um, the truth is, I'm like 80% vegan, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't eat any part of the animal except the meat. <laughs> Does that make sense? Except nope. the meat? Yeah. What kind of meat are you talking about? So that would mean I don't, the dairy, we don't do dairy. The butter, we don't do that. I make butter, I make my own nut milks, rice milks. Oh, I make. Like that. Just, you just eat just the meat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, got it! <laughs> Right, and so that was what I was looking for. Okay, I'll reword it. Thank you. This is really helpful. The dairy. Yeah, no, uh, no eggs. So anyway, so I had to learn how to do all this because my my poor kids got eczema. So I had to learn how to cook this way, and so you know. But I'm all about veganism. Okay, like I am like I hardcore promote veganism. I have a restaurant dedicated to vegans. It's a vegan menu. I fully support it because eating meat is unsustainable. You know, I mean, I know that. Yeah, it is. It means it, it, it won't last, or it's not a, you know, a, it doesn't, it's not self-generating, it's very taxing on the resources around it. Yeah, and so I get that. And so the more people that I can get stop eating meat, the less guilty I feel about doing it, you know? <laughs> and it's actually, it's a direct correlation. The more people that stop eating meat, the less guilt I feel. You understand? You yeah. Still, you're going to be the last person on earth eating meat, huh? Is that your goal? I mean, you know, it's possible. There's probably, there's probably going to be a couple of us because I can't afford a wool cow. But I could go in like halfsies. You know? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, so, yeah, I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part to make <laughs> vegan food for other people to eat. That's what I'm doing. And it's going well. And they're stoked. Like, I have people who literally cry when they come to my cafe and they eat my food. <laughs> They're like so touched. It's like, it's worth getting up at 4 a.m. in the morning to make food for them. How does that feel like knowing in the back you're eating like a burger? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, no, no, I don't do that. I don't do that, I don't do that. No, our, our kitchen, our kitchen's certified vegan. There's no meat in there. There's no meat in there. That's just what I do behind closed doors, okay? <laughs> just between me and you. Although I'm gonna get interviewed and I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna answer that. How I've been getting around it at the markets, they're like, oh yeah, how long have you been vegan? I'm like, we've been eating this diet for two years. <laughs> no, I didn't say what diet. I just said we've been eating this way for two years, which is true. It's true. When my baby was two, a little patch of eczema spread all over, you know? And then I just experimented, taking gluten and dairy and egg out. <laughs> taking meat out of the diet, that's crazy. That child could eat her weight in chicken. I'm not kidding. Um, but enough about me. Anyone else have something positive going on? I'm just going to keep going if you don't. I have something on the vegan note. 
Oh, yeah, give it to me. So I'm interested in your customer because in the building here in the back is Organic Plants Bakery. Yeah. They're gluten free bakery. Yeah. And so for almost five years now, I've been fighting with their asshole customers in the parking lot over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, can you elaborate on what makes them an asshole? Oh, no, no you're not done yet. No, Yeah. Like, he has something that I wanted to eat. Yeah. I would also be like kind of grouchy right before I got that thing. So sure. Sure. Those. That's reasonable. So I've just had to tell people. Hangry? Like, I believe yeah, it has a name. So I've had to tell a lot of hangry celiacs. A lot of hangry organico customers. Organico customers. Wait, what are they doing to you over here? They're parking in my parking lot. Oh. Oh. I don't envy you. <laughs> I don't envy you. So she's saying, so what's positive about this? Exactly? It's just, oh, no, I didn't care about that. Oh, just, be, just, just people with food allergies are um, not um, difficult? No, no, I, was just, I was just like, I was just like taking a moment to like, because you're like, when you said that your customers cried when they ate food, I was like, well, that makes sense because they're just like, I need to. Oh, yeah. I yeah. And you know, and you have to prepare everything. When you live that diet, you have to prepare everything. And when you rely on other people to make it, yeah, yeah. And when other people make it and they're buying it processed, it's crappy ingredients. It's shitty ingredients, and that's not what I do. My shit is so nutrient dense. Mm. My waffles, half my waffles, 20 grams of protein, 30 grams of fiber, and both flowers meet 76% of your daily recommended vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. I'm just saying, my shit's nutrient dense. It's good. It's like if, if, if there was a God, which I do believe there's a God, but if there was a God, and in she, he, it is, you know, whatever, it's not a, a physical thing, wanted you to eat um, grains, it would be like my donuts. It would be like my bagels my bagels are amazing all right i'm sorry this turned into a commercial this has just been great um this is working out really well for me <laughs> it's working out really well for me um okay thank you guys what was i gonna say about that the parking thing yeah that's just a bummer basically <laughs> Oh, actually, I want to develop some more jokes about getting vegans to laugh at themselves because they take themselves way too seriously. Way too seriously. But I'm not there yet. It's just something, I, it's a direction I want to head. Um, anybody in a relationship? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys are sad cat. Sad cat. All right, how about anyone else? Anyone else? No? No? Anyone been broken up with recently? No? That's good. Me either. Not recently, at least. Cheated on? Ever? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, cheated on? That's a bummer. I know. Don't worry. It's going to get positive. It's the whole point of this is to bring the light. <laughs> the whole point. But I got to take you low. Take you down low. Good advice. You know? You got you to gotta feel it. You got to feel that whatever it is. Anger? You know? Whatever. Feel it. You got to wear it like a coat. But, yeah, so, so here's my worst. I dated a guy, he cheated on me. The end. <laughs> That's it. That's simple. Just life. Uh, you know, it, it. It would be a lot more positive and more peaceful. I mean, if you we wanted to get into the details, which Angela, it sounds like you do. <laughs> so, no, I, I guess I'll go there <laughs> since you opened that door. But I mean, he didn't exactly cheat on me. Well, he, they just kissed. He was raped. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was just sleeping, and he woke up, and the next thing he knew, he, yeah, he, I mean, he had nothing to do with it. And so, I'm listening to this, and I'm thinking, I think this is bullshit. Like, I have a sneaking suspicion that you're lying. <laughs> and I'm feeling like I'm being taken advantage of in this situation. But, you know, honestly, he's the real victim here. 
So apparently there's a rapist running around Ashland, and um, she's breaking into your house and having her way with men. Yeah, her MO, B and E's and BJ's. And so I wonder what goes on inside the head of a man being raped, you know? I mean, imagine yourself sleeping, right? You're just sleeping and then like, wet dream, is it? Wait, is it? And you wake up and you're like, no, don't, stop. Do not stop. Do not stop. And so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well. Because that is possible for a man to be raped. Oh, yeah, I have a hard time with that one. Yeah. Yeah, you do. As a man, as a man who has a penis and is capable of knowing what it feels like to be, you know, erect or not. It's more mentally. Yeah. So you'd almost say you'd have to want to be a part of it. Because yeah. if you didn't, then it would feel bad, and then mentally it would feel bad, and then it would work, right? Mm-hmm. All right, this isn't comedy anymore. All right, stop. Okay. Well, this asshole had a chance the next day to hashtag me too. And here I thought he just had a bad experience growing up, and turns out it was the rape. But I got over it. I'm doing better. Um, one of the things he had told me, though, in the breakup was that I wasn't kinky enough. And so, in the spirit of self-discovery, I broke into a few houses, I won't lie, and I'm like really good. I'm like a ninja, I'm really good at breaking in. The rape part, I'm not as good at that, that. I'm not as good. In fact, I mostly just spent that couple weeks of my life talking people out of pressing charges against me. You know, I had to give him a backstory, you know. All right, never mind. Angela, you're fucking my shit up, dude. No more out of you. That's what I'm saying. It's right. touchy subject. Zip it. Well, it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. Assume it's a joke. Okay. okay. Thanks. I just felt bad for the guy. You know, his ex and everything. Yeah, show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. But it's okay. That traumatic experience led me to Mr. Right. So this is where it gets good. Here's the light at the end of the rainbow. And we just celebrated our eight month anniversary. And he's also a comedian, which is weird when you're like a comedian because your brain works a certain way. And then when you're dating a comedian whose brain works similarly, but at a very different time and gets off on very different things, you like you have these situations, you know, with each other that are like I think normal people would be a little put off by, you know. So, like for example, you know, he says to me, "I hope everyone le- in the room laughs at you tonight," you know. Like normally, that'd be like a horrible thing to say to someone, <laughs> unless you're a comedian. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Or like maybe it'll be like sexy times, you know, and I'll be like balls deep and start cracking up laughing. You know, and like, you know, it's all mental. It's gotta be hard to maintain an erection when your girlfriend's laughing with your penis in her mouth. (laughs) I imagine that would have to be hard. But um, we somehow, we get through it because we understand each other. And he helps me with my bakery, which is really like, who knew? He was a baker too, that's kind of amazing. Um, And yeah, helps me like develop recipes and stuff. So something we'll do, I'll be like, this is so disgusting, taste it, you know? You know, which, again, when couples do that, they're like, ew, why would you want me to taste it? If you think it's disgusting, why do you think I... And meanwhile, we're like scientists. We're like, oh, yeah, that is gross. That's kind of a sour flavor. You know, it's fermented a little too long. We're like picking it apart, so. It's kind of interesting, sort of unique to us. And he just told me he loves me. Thank you. About like a month ago. That was really exciting. Big jump in the relationship. And then shortly after that, he had the situation where he needed to move. And so I'm like gently hinting like, you know, I have like a second room in my apartment. It's like not used, it has a bed in it. You don't have a bed. I mean, one and one makes two, right? But he decided to rent a room from a woman who's a dominatrix <laughs> instead. <laughs> so it was hard. I mean, my ability to deal with it, not him. Okay, all right. But um, yeah, I was weighing it out and I was thinking, you know, what's the worst that could happen here? 
he just, he learns how to be with, like, a strong, you know, dominant woman. I'm thinking, this is a positive for me. All right. Maybe he learns a new trick in the bedroom. Again, that sounds like a positive for me. I'm feeling like this is good. I'm seeing a pattern here. And he's also been taking me out a lot more because he feels so bad. <laughs> and so he's sort of overcompensating. So I'm like, again, I feel like I'm winning here. This is working out really well for me. And uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be hard, but you know, that's, that's it. It's nice and positive. It's all going so well. This was going so well. I had a hard time managing this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for everything, I appreciate it. I'm Victoria, and I'll never return to my first open mic ever. Keep it going for Victoria, it's great. Got some good laughs in there. Um, and give it up for your host, Michael Longnecker, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea. Thank you, guys. Thanks, you fans. Yeah, so next week, Dami Ramos is hosting. He's fabulous. Always sings beautiful things. Um, and then, again, the 10th is the parade. It's right outside here on Main Street. It's the Phoenix Homecoming Parade. It's really fun. And we're registered in the parade this year. And so if anyone wants to, like, Get in the parade with us. We don't know what we're doing yet. When is it? It's October 10th, and it's, it's a Wednesday, and it's at 6 p.m., and it ends at 7 p.m., which is when open mic starts. We'll also have chairs out front. It's like people, you just sit there, and people, like, huck candy at you, which is, like, a weird tradition. <laughs> it's awesome. It's why I moved here. There's, that's awesome. Yeah, like, anywhere that they're just throwing candy at you constantly, I'm also...